Hi, my name is Todd Atwood. I'm a research wildlife biologist, and I work in the polar bear research program at the USGS Alaska Science Center. Polar bears are important for a couple of reasons. They're culturally important to folks that live in Arctic coastal communities. Uh, they're also the only bear species that is classified as a marine mammal. So the reason why they're classified as a marine mammal is because they rely on the Arctic Ocean for their habitat, in this case, sea ice. Um, they also rely on the Arctic Ocean for food, which is primarily ring seals. Polar bears are also inhabiting a, an ecosystem that's highly vulnerable to global warming. Um, and so they're at high risk of uh, extirpation over the long term unless global warming is mitigated and sea ice habitat is stabilized or recovered. So the polar bear research program has a pretty broad focus, but to boil it down, what we're doing is conducting long-term studies of polar bears in the Arctic marine ecosystem, and then providing that information to policymakers so that they can use it to guide decisions regarding polar bear conservation. Polar bears are, are often referred to as an apex predator, meaning that they sit atop of the food chain. And in that position atop the food chain, they kind of serve as an indicator of the health of that ecosystem. And so, for example, by sampling polar bears, by looking at things like changes in their diet, we can learn a lot about how polar bears are responding to climate change, but also how the Arctic marine ecosystem is responding to climate change. Probably the primary goal of doing the research is to provide the best available science that can be used to inform management and policy decisions. The largest consumer of our science is the Fish and Wildlife Service. They have management responsibility for polar bears in Alaska. Um, we also provide information that's used by um, other Department of Interior agencies like the Bureau of Land Management. Uh, importantly, we also provide information that's used by uh, co-management councils and commissions. I hope that the research that we're doing is providing useful information to kind of inform the policy discussion about how we can mitigate global warming, um, not only to conserve polar bears for future generations, but also to provide some insight into how species in other ecosystems might respond to climate change and um, what steps could be taken to kind of prevent those species from experiencing adverse effects of climate change like polar bears have.